Hi guys, welcome back to Code Monk. Today we are going to learn how to install Redis and uh, uh, the basic usage of Redis CLI commands on open to 20.04. Uh, we'll see first we will see how to install uh, Redis on open to 20.04. Go to Redis download page. Go to download page. Here you can uh, see a different versions of Redis like uh, unstable and stable versions. Uh, for Ubuntu, uh, you can uh, you can use a PPA, official PPA, Ubuntu PPA provided by Redis Labs. So first, you have to add uh, the repository, and then you have to update and install the Redis. Or you can use a snap command to install Redis directly. You can use it. Meanwhile, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Uh, add the repository. As we know, this is a open source BSD licensed uh, in-memory data store, which provides a different data types and structures with the optional durab durability. Unlike uh, traditional databases, uh, Redis uses uh, in memory to store the data, operational data set instead of uh, disk storage. So it is very fast to perform operations using Redis. Generally, uh, Redis used as a cache uh, in the dynamic applications, which, which is uh, used, generally used to improve the data access time by reducing the load on databases. And also we can use Redis as a message broker. Update the package list and install the Redis. Exodo app get install. Just completed the installation. And now we can check whether the Redis server is running or not. With the sudo system control status Redis server, I can check the status of server. Yeah, yeah Redis server is running and it is an active state. Uh, if it is not running like we can stop and start the server like this if you want to stop the ready server you can use this command sudo system will stop like this if you check the status now it will show that uh, the ready server is inactive if you want to restart the server again this sudo system control start command will start the server again is it running? Now, uh, uh, that's all, guys. Now we will see how to connect uh, a Redis server using Redis CLI. We'll get the Redis CLI along with the installation of Redis server. Redis provides a set of commands uh, which will be useful to set and modify data, different types of data structures provided by Redis. Redis command, we will see some of the basic Redis commands uh, useful to set the key value pass and uh, to expire the keys. If you want to set the value for specific key, you can use a set command. Set 
x is the key and value will be the uh, maybe we can uh, let it be like if you want to yeah the value is set now is it running okay now if you want to check the value in the key you can use get command get x it's returning the value if you try to get the va key uh, value for the key that is not exist it will return nil okay now uh, we will see how to set expiry for a key we have expire command which will be useful to set expiry time for specific key for example i'm setting uh, by default uh, the keys are not uh, uh, the keys are persistent by default if you want to expire the keys and values after some time specific time you can use this expire command i'm just going to set expiry time for the x and i'm setting it to 10 seconds now we'll see get x it is there after that we will check uh, maybe we can check after 10 second, seconds whether it is not there or not it will be will not be there if we check a command uh, if we check the key x after 10 seconds it will not be there it yeah it has been deleted it is not available in the ready server we can uh, the same way like i am uh, going to set the value of key and now we can uh, check whether the key has expiry from expiry set or not using ttl command it returns minus 1 that means uh, we uh, x doesn't have any expiry set if you set expiry the ttl x will return the second number of seconds it has the key has still has to expire for example in our case i'm just setting the key again and expire it to 10 seconds and now i'm just checking at the ttl x so our x key has still has 7 uh, seconds to expire yeah now it is uh, expired if the key no the key has been deleted it has been deleted so it is returning minus 2 it means like if you use the ttl against the key that is not exist it will return minus 1 minus 2 if you are trying to uh, if you try ttl against the key that is exist but but doesn't have any expiry then it will return uh, then it will return minus 1 if you try ttl against a key that is exist but doesn't have any expiry it will return minus 1 and now you can even modify the ttl uh, you can even modify the expiry time using uh, uh, expire command same expire command for example i'm just setting the value for x and uh, expiry Then you can check the ttl time. It has eight seconds. Now I'm going to reset the time again to ten seconds. So it will again uh, it will have a fresh expire time. So we can uh, we can set the expiry again. We can reset the expiry again using the same expire command so that it will have a uh, again it will have a ten seconds of time. now we will see how to delete the key directly like i'm just setting key y value 10 if you want to check value of y is 10 and if you want to delete the key directly you can do it with del command that is deleted 
That's about it guys. In the next video we will see uh, different data structures provided uh, ready.